In this video, we're gonna download and install all the different extensions you can use with Reaper. So there are two kinds of extensions you can use with Reaper. The first kind is for media encoding and decoding, things that help you decode or playback video files in Reaper and for encoding video files. In that category, we have the VLC media player as well as FFmpeg. And in the other category, we've got extensions made for Reaper that add features to Reaper. So these are the SWS extension and the Repack extension. And this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Get two free months of premium access with the link in the description. So the first extension we're going to add to Reaper is VLC Media Player. So when you download this, the only thing you really need to watch out for is that if you're on Windows, make sure you get the 64-bit because that's not the default. This catches a lot of people and a lot of new users. And once that downloads, just run the installer with the default settings. And I like to run the application once just to make sure that everything's installed before I go into Reaper and, um, and try to use it. So on the Mac, you just need to download that and install it into the applications folder. When we launch Reaper, and I'm using a portable install here, um, I'll just show you what you're looking for with this to make sure that it's installed correctly. Then go into the preferences, and we're gonna scroll down to the video import miscellaneous section. And there's this button at the top, show available decoder information. If we click this, we've got uh, AV Foundation, that's gonna be installed by default on a Mac. Uh, it's not available on Windows. Uh, then we've got VLC3, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. And to actually use that in Reaper, set your video decoder priority to VLC. For me, that's the one that's worked the best on Mac. And um, I've been seeing a lot of people using that on Windows as well with great success. If we come back to this show available decoder information, we also have FFmpeg and Reaper will install with a basic version of FFmpeg, but we can upgrade that and give Reaper access to the full version, which mostly unlocks some options for rendering videos. So this is a little more complicated to install. One of the places where you're gonna see the FFmpeg stuff being uh, used is actually in the video FFmpeg encoder options. So we can choose things like MKV, H.264. You know, we can set this to like uh, 75%. This will be important on Windows because it's the only way you can export H.264. On Mac, it's a little different because we've got the AV Foundation decoder and we can actually type in the bit rate that we want in the export. But otherwise, I would say the FFmpeg is probably not essential on uh, Mac. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform for creators with thousands of classes on art, design, music, filmmaking, and more. One of the classes I've been watching recently is Design Great Stuff, How to Make Merch with Draplin. From Aaron Draplin, it's a really excellent class. I've been thinking a lot about making merch. Uh, this has been a great inspiration for me. Lots of outside of the box ideas that he has um, and these Tales of Merch category of videos that he's putting in here are really funny, especially this crusty merch one. But that's just one of thousands of video classes here on Skillshare. If you want to check out Skillshare, you can get two free months with the link in the description. You get full access, even offline on mobile, and it's a great way to learn a new skill during our downtime in this uh, pandemic. So check out Skillshare with the link below. You'll get two months for free, and if you want to stay on for a full year, it's only about $10 a month. Huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring the Reaper blog and supporting creators on YouTube and their own platform. So now the next two extensions actually go into Reaper's user plugins folder. So we can find that easily by going to options and then show Reaper resource path in Explorer slash finder. We're gonna go to the user plugins folder and on a new install, this is blank. And then in your web browser, you're gonna go to sws-extension.org and on Windows, grab that 64-bit Windows download. Uh, this will be a uh, an EXE installer, so this should put it in the correct folder for you. But on Mac, this will be a DMG. And when we download that, we get this SWS 2.10.0.1 DMG. So we're going to open that. Agree to the terms. 
we're going to drag this into the user plugins folder. On my Mac, I'm not able to actually drag this in here. But for other people, that does work. But in any event, we can just drag it in here. And I don't have video of this on Windows, but it's the same thing. It should just go into the user plugins folder. So now when we restart Reaper, we now have an extensions menu in the main menu. So we have great things like SWS AutoColor, contextual toolbars, the QBus generator, cycle action editor. We've got the Groove tool, the label processor, SWS loudness, all sorts of things that I've shown in many videos before. My favorites from this are the auto color and the cycle action editor. I don't think I could really work without those. Um, there's also great things in the marker utilities for things like reordering the marker and region IDs, copying all the markers to the clipboard, that kind of stuff. So again, we're going to quit Reaper and we'll move on to the next one, which is the repack install. So repack.com is where you can find this. The downloads are on the right. So again, 64-bit, uh, whether you're on Mac or Windows, if you're using 64-bit Reaper, this will download as a DLL on Windows and a Dilib on Mac. So we're going to close that. So I'm going to copy this, put it into the user plugins folder, just like the other one. And I'll start up Reaper again. And on first launch, the Manage Repositories window will pop up. Um, this is just to get you set up with Repack. What it actually is, is a package downloader. It's a way that you can download Reaper scripts and effects and themes and all kinds of great stuff uh, made by other Reaper users. Um, and you can keep them updated. And it's really simple to manage these, these scripts through here um, rather than individually downloading, installing, and then always checking for updates. This manages that for us. So it's really awesome. Manage Repositories window is where you manage collections of resources um, from other users. So there's the Reteam one, which is um, a bunch of different Reaper users. So I have some of my scripts in there. There's a JS effects package, a themes package, language packs, extensions. And then we have scripts from MPL and Xframe as options for downloading automatically. They both have really, really awesome scripts and really useful stuff that I'm using almost every day. Just for speed, I'm only going to install the reteam scripts here. And I'm going to use this option, install new packages when synchronizing. And I'm going to hit apply. And it's going to check these links and compare the Reapers folder, the scripts folder, uh, to what's on the websites or what's on what's on GitHub, basically. And so this is going to take a little while downloading the scripts. And you can see here, there are 1,439 scripts uh, just in this small package here. Um, and it's really awesome stuff that I use all the time. You can see the stuff that's actually being installed in here, in the Reteam scripts. So if we open this up, it's just thousands of items being downloaded without any effort, and it's also being automatically installed into Reaper's action list. So we're these are ready to use right away. And so when the download or the synchronization is complete, we've got a big list of all the things that have installed for us. And we can hit OK, and we can close this. In the extensions menu, we will have a repack submenu here. Synchronize is just going to check the servers and then download anything that's new. Run this every couple of days whenever you're curious of if there's anything new. We can hit Browse Packages, and we've got um, a list of everything that's installed. This button here lets us filter this list, and it shows the types of files that this actually supports. So automation items, effects, extensions, language packs, MIDI note names, project templates, scripts, themes, track templates, web interfaces, and other packages. Back to the extensions menu, we've got import repositories. So again, we can um, paste in uh, a repository, or we can an, enable one that we have. The repository list on the Repack website lists a whole bunch more that you can download and install in Reaper through Repack. Geraint's JSFX, I've I've featured before. Stevie's got 102 scripts here. 
the Reaper community is really great and they're constantly updating and making new stuff. And I really love that. And that's where we'll end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Bye.